Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I just rambled for 15 minutes and then I figured that the microphone wasn't working. So I'm gonna do it all again. Welcome. Um, so there's gonna be a new update. I'm on the dev server right now. First off, we're gonna start with the Ardennes maps, the Battle of the Bulge um, era of the World War II. So they're going to add these new maps. Pretty sure it's gonna be three maps um, in one you know, pack basically. And it looks pretty cool. I really like it, um, depending on how the layout's gonna be for gameplay, but the way it looks, it's, it, it looks really, really nice. The next topic is they fixed some bugs, really care about that. Um, they are going to add two premium armored personnel carriers. This one for Germany, the half track, and this one for America. Now, this one will get the 50 cal, which is pretty powerful, and it's even this is gonna be better rating two, and better rating two in a down tier. You can literally penetrate Panzer twos and threes with this gun because it does roughly 30 millimeters of penetration, and the Panzer twos and threes the earlier ones only have 15. So this thing is gonna be a savage, but you know barely any armor at best versus small arms fire. Um, this one. Gets the MG34 or 42, I'm not sure, so don't pin me down on that one. I couldn't find the definitive answer. Um, so this firepower will be less against vehicles, but it does have sloped armor. So this one will be able to take more of a beating from small arms fire. So, you know, this one has more firepower. This one has more survivability, roughly. I think that's kind of how they balanced it. Um, which is quite cool. This is gonna be the M3. This is, by the way, yeah, this might be important to say that this one is going into the USSR, not in the US3. I'm not really sure how I feel about that, but I just want to emphasize that the American one will be in the USSR3 because USSR and the German trees are the most popular, so they want premiums for those trees first. This is the the famous half track from the Germans. It's pretty cool. Ah, it's got ah, hmm. I read over this earlier, apparently. It gets the MG34, so not even the 42. Um, versus infantry, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't make a big difference. But, you know, if you want to do anything more than just shoot infantry, this one will be more powerful with the 50 cal. Um, you can pre-order them, 25 each. If you pre-order them in a bundle, you to pay 40 total, so that's 20 each, $5 off each one. Meh, you know. Then they, we go to Japan, they're gonna add a new single shot bolt action rifle, nothing special. Then we see the same rifle, or at least the 99, yeah, same rifle, both earlier, but with the grenade launcher, Japan didn't have one as of now. Um, not a rifle with a grenade launcher, I meant all the other nations do. Then they're going to add a submachine gun, it looks pretty badass, but I'm not sure, highest. Uh, rate of fire higher than the PPSH sounds good probably the recoil will be like brrr, so I don't know we'll see how useful it is but it looks pretty dope then the Japanese you get the Isuzu mm, mobile spawn point APC I mean this is not an APC this is just a truck correct me yeah this is <laughs> APC's armored personnel carrier there's no armor on this so this is just a personnel carrier. It's gonna be a mobile spawn point until it gets damaged. So you can spawn on it. Maybe even just drop it somewhere. I'm not sure. Maybe drop it and then take your crew out, and people can still drop uh, spawn on the vehicle while you are taking a capture point or something. Uh, the idea is pretty good, pretty good, cool and good. Yeah. <laughs> so I like the idea. Um, we will see how it works in practice. You don't have to sacrifice a vehicle in your lineup for it so it doesn't go in place of a tank or a aircraft which is an aircraft which is good then we have this one added i don't like this i played this on white thunder a lot um the gun's pretty good basically Panzer four performance Panzer four 75 millimeter performance it's also 75 millimeter barely any armor flat even worse it's not even angled um oh and uh, the, this open top so planes will strafe at it you can throw grenades at it this um i don't and you don't have a turret like i don't i'm not a big fan of tank destroyers at least not the open ones uh, but the gun's pretty good 
we got it pretty good. Probably, I think, better rating 3? I think it's gonna be 3, but I'm not sure. Then we have this one, also 75, but this is a long barrel, high velocity ammo anti-tank gun, and this is more of a howitzer surfer indirect fire. Um, yeah, it's artillery, big uh, muzzle, uh, muzzle brake on it. I don't, once again, I don't really like this stuff. Uh, but versus infantry, it would definitely be good firing HE. So against infantry, sure. Against tanks, meh, really depends on the battle rating. Uh, I heard, yeah, <laughs> it has good armor. Well, no, 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 <laughs> just no. Okay, USA, new, so a different country now. We went from Japan to USA. Uh, aircraft, there's already a similar plane to this one in the game, the AP-1C or AP-4A, whatever, very similar. Uh, this one will get 420mm cannons, no bombs, so for me that's a big no-no. I don't like planes without the bombs, because I mainly use planes for anti-tank. Gets 8 H4 rockets, which are okay, not great. Probably rank 4, you know, as a fighter, 420mm, it will probably, prob blah, 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 it will probably be pretty good. But, yeah, well, not for me. But nice that they added. This is the M3 Lee. We basically already have the British one from this one in the in the game, which is like I don't know, like eighty percent similar or something, maybe even more. There are some slight differences. Uh, this is the thirty-seven millimeter cannon. Uh, in a down tier, you can actually destroy some tanks with it. In a up tier, it's useless against uh, armored vehicles. This is the seventy-five, a pre-runner from the Sherman, basically, but pretty similar. It's okay if you're a suspenser, one, twos, and threes, and like the weak Japan stuff I just showed, but against the, um, how do you say that? Against up the is this is gonna be useless. Let's see, didn't I forget something? No, okay. Kind of, it's something in the back of my head, like, hey, you forgot to show that, but uh, maybe I'll figure it out later. Uh, so yeah, this is, this is just copy and paste. This is just more grinding to get to higher tier stuff, in my opinion. Then we have Studebaker, yeah, Studebaker S uh, six U one, just a truck, mobile spawn point, similar to the Japanese ones. Uh, no armor, no armament, no tracks. Should be fine on decent pavement, but swamp maps. If you get Pacific as a US, this will probably not be very mobile. It's just a mobile spawn point, nothing really special. I like that they added, but you know, nothing special. Uh, this thing, yeah, pfft, I don't know, man. This is we already have two Shermans. We have the Sherman Two, which is the one before this one. I'm pretty sure the one right now, the Sherman Two has the airplane, the radial airplane engine, and this one gets a regular engine. Uh, still fuel though. They would call the Tommy Cookers by the Germans because one hit ignited the fuel, and then boom goes the dynamite. Basically, boom goes the Sherman. Um, so right now we have the Sherman Two, and we have the M4A Two. This one is M4A1, it's in between, different engine, slightly different turret, pretty sure. But it still has a Sherman 2 hull and where my, how do you see that, my pointer, my mouse, whatever, the arrow is pointing at right now, there's a major weak spot. I'm not a big fan that they add this, it's gonna be the third Sherman at rank 3, like why do I need 3 Shermans, I can only take 2. And it's just gonna be more grinding to get to the... Uh, to the end, basically, and that's already the case with this one. So now we have two of these at tier two, better rating two, and three of these at better rating three. It's just filler. It's just making you grind more. So I'm not a big fan. Just my opinion. USSR, a different nation, going from US to USSR. It's a heavy machine gun, 100 magazine round magazine. Um, pretty sure this is from before World War Two. Early Soviet machine guns. Yeah, I think this is from before World War II. I don't really recognize it. But we'll see probably a lot of recoil, but it looks pretty cool. Then we have this truck, the Gas Triple A. This one is also with an anti air variant with 14.5 millimeters and stuff like that. Um, yeah, for here, it's just a mobile spawn point like the other ones. No armor, no armament. You can spawn on it. Uh, go cap a point with your crew. People can still spawn on it. You don't take a. You don't lose a vehicle squad for it, same as all the other stuff. Pretty cool, nothing special. Then we go to Germany. This is, by the way, this is all they're going to add for the USSR, just a gun and a truck, so that's not a hell of a lot. Germany, the, this is not the famous half-track, but it is a half-track. No armor, no armament. 
but it should be a bit better when there's poor road surface or swamps or stuff so that's the only thing that uh, differentiates this one from the other ones other than that it's just a mobile spawn point that's it then for japan we get this new vehicle a lot of people like this and what on i don't i just don't like what uh, um how do you say that um tank destroyers in general i just want a turret like if i can choose for a, for a normal platform or a disabled platform <laughs> then yeah i'll go for normal then here this is pretty sure this is the pershing american pershing this is a nine millimeter gun this should be a counter to the tiger twos and maybe to the is twos as well then this one's even better this is the t26 e5 pretty sure this is an upgraded one from this one better armor on the front that there's an extra layer you see and here it has some extra armor on it and i'm pretty sure this is uh, if they fire the gun a lot of the gases they fill up this so there's less recoil or less gas in the barrel ob obstructing something like that i'm pretty sure it has to do with that if not just let me know anyway this is the end boy like this is gonna be the 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 tiger rank 5 tiger 1 slash is1 position and this will be the tiger 2 slash is2 position all the way at the end of the tech tree pretty dope then we have a quite a big nerf thankfully to the flamethrower stuff a 60 percent radius decrease for the lower level and a 30 percent radius decrease for the higher level flamethrowers uh, you can no longer run while firing, so less mobility, easier to kill. Uh, the time that the flames keep on burning on the ground and do damage is decreased from 30 to 9 seconds. So this is major nerf, rightfully so. They should just uh, limit the amount of squads you can get. Like there's people running around with like three squads at higher tier, which is stupid. Just make only one, only one paratroop squad and only one flamethrower squad and then maybe add one if you have a premium as well because you don't want to take the access to something people bought away from people so i you know maybe make an exemption for that too if you have one premium and that's it uh, this is not really relevant so there we go to the tech trees like where are all the stuff wait i'm getting a phone call okay we'll respond to that later um then we go over here where is the it's in the heavy weapon line so it's at tier two the here's the truck you get a separate squad it doesn't go like i mentioned like four times now you don't lose a vehicle spot or aircraft spot for this truck you also don't lose hey they don't have a bike ussr doesn't have a bike you also don't lose a bike squad this is the rider pretty sure yeah wider squad and this is the driver squad so you can theoretically if you have a lineup you can go uh yeah, you can go like infantry and infantry and then you can use the motorcycle and then you can use the half track or the, the spawn truck basically the driver class and then you can still use these so i don't know man is it still an infantry game I don't know technically but if you can go into battle with only two infantry and five vehicles then you know the focus is definitely not infantry I don't mind echo from white thunder so I like the mix but if you're for a diehard infantry uh, then this is maybe not great for you but I think most people will like it so this this is this truck I already showed it earlier uh, let's see then we go to Germany personally just my opinion but if you look at especially here look at how early the, the truck is like if you want to buy them you should buy them because they have the premium ones i mean you should buy them because they have weapons and a bit of armor but it's not to skip a grind like i bought the is1 the premium one um to skip a lot of grinding oh i'm on the dev server now okay fuck it but anyway i bought that one um so then i good skip as soon as you have this you don't have to grind this 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 anymore and it's fully upgraded but with this there's no point like one weapon two weapon three the fourth thing you already unlock it so you pay money to skip like 
four days of no okay maybe a week of grinding if you have some time so this one doesn't even have a premium which is good because one two three four five six it's a bit further away because you have one more anti-tank weapon and here you get the motorcycle in between but still i mean it's tier two it's not impossible to reach or something then for germany it is one two wait one two three four five six seven which is even one more but still i mean it's tier two sorry so this is not the end of the world personally i'm not going to pay 20 or 25 euros to to skip this little bit but you know if you really want to have the armor the the german one damn it i have the hiccups <laughs> the german one is definitely legendary like the one with that i just showed with the half track and the armor this this very famous one so i think that one will probably sell pretty good even though it's not a great grind skipper basically then we go to japan heavy weapon line one two three four like <laughs> like it's the fourth thing you unlock in this line so also you don't skip a lot of grinding i mean this tree is pretty empty to begin with um but so yeah this is anti-tank rifle mortar anti-tank launcher basically and then here it is already so this the grind it's not bad at all in my opinion uh, you can get there pretty soon so that's it for all the vehicles and stuff now they changed the game as we all know so i can no longer just go to um, campaign and select the Hurtgen Forest, uh, the new um, maps that they introduced with this dev server. So I'm going to end the video right here. And if I will be able to get a game in the new maps, I will post that later to display the, the new maps. Um, for now, this is it. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.